How's everybody doing tonight? All right? All right, well, I want to, uh, first off, Tim Kirchin, I mean, that was amazing that you can just come up here and say that. I really want to hire you as my agent. Uh, I think you'd be unbelievable in an arbitration case. The stats that you throw out and the stories are way cooler than anything I could ever put out tonight. But uh, first off, I'd like to thank Coach O'Connor and his staff, uh, as well as the VAF and the athletic department for having my family and myself out tonight. Uh, it's, you know, this is it's a great place to play. It's a great place to live. This is a great town. So uh, I also want to thank my high school coaches that have made it out here tonight. Uh, Bill Evers and Tom Peterson, they made it out. Uh, kind of a surprise that my wife had for me. I thought that was pretty special. And they're at the table with uh, the other man I'd like to thank tonight, and that's Coach Womack. Thanks for recruiting me, or else we wouldn't even be having this talk, I think. So appreciate that. But uh, most importantly, I'd like to thank the uh, men's and women's basketball teams for not having a home game so we can have this arena. Um, you know, Charlottesville is always a great place to be able to come back. Uh, you know, my wife is also a former uh, Wahoo. She played her soccer, uh, played soccer here. So selling a trip to Charlottesville is never really that difficult in my house. Um, and I got to be honest with you, when Coach O'Connor called me uh, a few months ago, I figured it was just to talk about the season, how everything went. Um, you know, talk about how UVA baseball was doing, and then we we're going to talk about this banquet. Uh, and usually that's the case. We're going to sit there, and maybe he'd ask me if I had a couple auction items I'd had to give up, or, you know, honestly, I was thinking that he wanted me to make a phone call to uh, Bruce Bochy to see if I could get him to speak, but that wasn't the case. He actually said that the, um, <clears throat> this, this year was going to be something a little more special. And so he had informed me that the Virginia program wanted to honor one of its own. And seeing that this is Charlottesville, it's in uh, the mid-Atlantic here, I was thinking, well, you know, the Orioles and the uh, Nationals had historic years this year, and Mark Reynolds and, and Ryan Zimmerman were big reasons why. So that, that's what I was thinking. And then he said, no, no, we're going we're gonna to ask you. And I said, I never told you this, Coach, but I sat there and I'm like, well, uh, this, is, uh, this is pretty cool. It's a sweet honor, you know. I'm pretty, this is exciting. And then I thought immediately, I'm going to have to write a speech. <laughs> so, you know, to be honest, this is something I never thought would happen when I was here at the University of Virginia. Um, but the same thing could be said about my career path, too. Uh, I just came here as a kid just kind of wanting to test himself with and, with and uh, against some of the best talent in the country, and I think that's the ACC uh, from in baseball. So uh, that's, really, that's really the thing that I wanted to do, and I also wanted to try my hand at one of the best universities in the land, and that's UVA. So it all started, um, basically, my oldest sister, Sarah, came here, and she had gotten tickets to a football game, and it was the greatest football game I'd ever seen in my life in person. It was Virginia versus Georgia Tech, one versus three, and yes, Virginia was number one in the country back then, for those of you who don't know. Uh, the energy in the, in the stadium was awesome. The crowd was electric. And the game didn't end up in Virginia's favor, but, uh, you know, right then and there I knew I was hooked. The college life was for me. Uh, every year from then on, I'd try to make it down for a big football game or a big baseball series, and usually the, both of those involve Florida State. Uh, the Knowles at the time had the best programs, some of the best programs in, in football and in baseball, and that's the kind of talent that I wanted to come and go against. Over that time, I watched... Uh, a lot of Virginia baseball, and I saw a lot of, a lot of guys that uh, Virginia was recruiting some boys that could play, and a lot of them are here tonight. And, uh, you know, n that was one of the things that was a deciding factor for me, and I got really excited. I had the opportunity to watch Brian Buchanan and, and Seth Greisinger play, and the, both of those guys, for those of you who don't know in this room, are first-round picks. And, you know, I felt that the program was headed in the right direction. When I chose, uh, when I chose UVA, <clears throat> I thought, uh, well, you know, it's a nice place. I love it. My sister had come here, so I was familiar with it. But uh, it did have something that I don't think many of the guys that are here today really enjoyed playing on, and that was 1980s Scott Stadium football turf with the yard markers included. Uh, that was not the, be the best playing surface. We had a turf infield, grass outfield. So trust me, players, you guys are living the dream. Um, but being young and naive, I thought this would not be a problem coming here, going to Virginia and having to fulfill the academics and the athletics 
Uh, I thought baseball had always, uh, baseball had always kind of come easy to me. And school, I actually enjoyed it, so I figured this wouldn't be a problem. But I was in for a rude awakening when I stepped on the grounds. Uh, that came very early, the summer before I got, uh, got down to UVA. Came the time to pick classes. And I'm like, well, this, this is great. I got the freedom to pick my own classes. Growing up, it's uh, seven class periods, 7 a.m. to 2.30 in the afternoon. No real flexibility, you know, so that was it. And so I'm, like, I'm thinking, well, I get to pick Monday, Wednesday, or Friday classes for 50 minutes, or Tuesday, Thursdays for an hour and 15, and I can pick when I want to go? It's like, this will be cake. And then I'm like, well, let's see. They offer class. First class is 8 a.m. I might start high school at 9 o'clock, or at 7 o'clock. This is no big deal. 8 a.m. Boy, what was I thinking? Classes, I'll tell you this. I found out a lot later. Um, really aren't that difficult when you attend regularly. Um, but the first semester was a wake-up call. There's no doubt about it. Um, I spent entirely, I had too many, entirely too many early classes and spent entirely too much uh, nights up late experience to college life. Everything that it had to offer and that earned me some bad grades. But fortunately, that was the last time that uh, it happened, but it still, uh, still put me in study hall for that next semester. And Many of the upperclassmen had told me two things when I showed up at UVA. One, stay eligible, which makes sense. And two, get good grades to get out of study hall. So I figured one out of two isn't bad. But with that, I learned my first lessons when I was here. One, pick uh, later starting classes and budget my time more wisely. And after that spring, I was off the study hall list. And that was the spring of 1996. And for many of the faces I see out here, that was one special year, winning at the time a school record 44 games and an ACC championship makes for a fun season. Uh, doing it, be beating Florida State made it that much sweeter. Uh, having Mike Martin Sr. come over to our dugout and tell us that our team is beautiful and he loves us after we just whooped their team for the final was one of the greatest memories I ever have of that season. The, uh, the, the, the amount of respect I have for that man to come over and do that after his team was beaten, it was amazing. And again, seeing Seth Greisinger pitch all season long was a treat, and seeing all the players on that roster from top to bottom chip in with some good pitching, timely hitting, great defense, and just that will to win that, that drives every good baseball team. To this day, those players and that team will always bring back good memories. But most of those, I got to tell you, I can't really share tonight at, on this podium. It's just they, they wouldn't be very appropriate. But the, uh, I, I got to say, UVA has helped shape my career and my life in, in many ways. Uh, it was the first time I lived away from home. Granted, it's two hours from Northern Virginia, but alone's alone. Um, it taught me time management, fiscal responsibility. And that mainly came from uh, after my first year, I had the corner meal plan, and I ate through that in about two months, uh, right when I showed up on campus here. So with that, I made lifelong friends here and great relationships that, I've been, that have served me well as I travel the country. And to my Philly guys, I know they're around here somewhere. Uh, you know, there's nothing like seeing a familiar face when, to break up that monotony of just getting booed and yelled at and heckled in the bullpens. So I appreciate you guys showing up at some ball games. UVA also taught me to get used to some long bus rides. Uh, I remember those trips down to Florida State and breaking that up with just playing some other teams along the way. And uh, that's, for those of you who don't know in this room, that's the preferred travel method of the minor leagues. And in some of the leagues I played with, that was 12 plus hour bus rides. Not something that you really enjoy. So I wanna thank uh, the UVA baseball program for providing me that experience. Um, during that time, I played with a lot of guys that were uh, in the minor leagues, and I had a lot, of, a lot of faces from all over the country. And one thing I noticed, I saw a lot of careers end earlier than they had thought would happen for them. And it was really a wake-up call because a lot of those careers ended without a degree to fall back on. And after having three years already under my belt here, I told myself right then and there that I would finish my degree at the University of Virginia. And I figured, I better finish that up so I will have at least that to fall back on. And I also told my now in-laws that uh, I would uh, finish my degree before I married their daughter, so I figured I needed to wrap that up as well. And luckily for me, I haven't had to use it to get a job yet. I say yet. 
Um, but it's been 16 years now as a pro, and I'm going into my 11th year in the big leagues, and it's been a great ride. That being said, it hasn't been the gravy train on biscuit wheels that I kind of envisioned when I first got drafted. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work and, and being hard-headed, but that's in a good way. Um, in the minor leagues, I was still a traditional over-the-top lefty, even though the video shows me slinging it from the side there. Um, but I just wasn't getting the consistent outs that I needed to to keep a job, let alone make the major leagues. I had a coach tell me a long time ago, if it's important to you, you'll find a way. And if not, you'll find an excuse. And I'm not the kind of guy that wants to make excuses, so at that point in time, I figured, well, hell, let's go for it. Drop the arm angle, and this is no joke, in one year I was in the big leagues. I dropped my arm angle, and then that's it. I reached my dream in one year. And just like that, I also have three World Series rings to show for it. It's, uh, it's been a grind at times, it's been a struggle, but that makes all the joys that much sweeter. And that's why I love this game, and Tim had touched on that a lot. This game is great, and I love this game so much because it's constantly challenging you. It's something I wish everyone in this room could experience. Having a chance to say I won an AL ring and an NL ring is something I can look back on and smile. To think that I shared the field with some of the greatest players in Major League Baseball, and one of them I'm going to point out was Billy Wagner personally, being able to play against this guy, it's, it's been an absolute honor, and there's nothing that I can't say other than it's been a blessing. And I'm truly thankful for my career, and I wouldn't change a thing. With that, I'd like to take a moment and thank all the donors here tonight and those that helped help keep the program intact in the early 2000s uh, when the Womack, uh, under Coach Womack and the athletic department's fundraising efforts. You know, I just wanted to make sure you guys didn't go, that it didn't go unnoticed. And I want, now that I'm here, I want to personally thank you. Or else without, uh, without that, we definitely wouldn't be having this banquet tonight. So... For that, I want to say that the stadium up there, it's a beautiful stadium. It's something to be proud of. This program is amazing, and I'm, you can see by the support tonight. And let me tell you again, players, you guys, I mean, I, I'm absolutely jealous every time I step on that field, how nice it is, that stadium. You know, I do kind of miss coming down here and wearing our little tight white shorts that we had when we first showed up, our dress issue shorts, and having to throw stuff in a mesh bag to get washed. So, you know, it's nice that you guys have your own facility, your own weight room up there. It's really awesome. And what can you say about this program? You know, consecutive trips now to regional, regional uh, and super regionals. I mean, nine straight years, two World Series, College World Series trips, and that's, that's just doing work. That's, that's really getting it done. That's a tribute to Coach and, his, uh, and the players as well doing that. It's something that we'd always dreamed about going to and just to actually see it. It's been great. Uh, to Coach O'Connor and the current and former, uh, his staff and current and former players, I just want to give a special thank you and this is, this is really from the bottom of my heart that uh, you guys give me some serious street cred now when I'm in the locker room because, you know, I'm 35, turning 36 this summer, and a lot of guys I'm playing with are 23, 24, 25, and I tell them, they ask me where I go to school, and I said, yeah, I went to UVA, and they're like, yeah, man, that's a great program. You know, you guys are doing great. And I said, they're, they're always in the top 25, and they're always going to regionals, and I'm just like, yep, my bad. That's how it's always been. And then, uh, so with that, I just want to say thank you for everybody coming out and spending some time with the UVA program. And I want to wish the 2013 Virginia Cavaliers the best of luck. And thanks again for coming out tonight. And let's just continue to have a good night. Thank you.